Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. We're at the University of Michigan indoor track, and one of the really good reasons to join a track club, especially the Ann Arbor Track Club, is you get to practice here on Tuesday nights. And we're here with Gary Morgan. How are you doing, Gary? Doing fantastic. And Doug Goodhue. How are you doing? I'm doing great tonight. Thank you. And we caught them just before they're going to set off around the track themselves to talk about Ann Arbor's classic Michigan race, the Dexter Ann Arbor Run. The Ann Arbor Track Club runs this race, and we have a new team this year. And Gary is one of the people who's on that committee, and Doug has been the guy who's been responsible for bringing and managing the USA Track and Field Masters 10K Championship. So, Gary, what are some of the new things that the club is thinking about for the race in June this year? Well, um, you know, it's still going to be a lot of the same things, but um, we want to really involve the community a lot more. Uh, this has always been a big event here in Ann Arbor, and uh, this year we want to really reach out to the community, and, uh, you know, the board of directors is going to be running the race, and I'm kind of leading the team. And uh, we want to involve um, the CS Mott Hospital a little more, maybe some of the local schools, um, maybe some of the uh, recreation departments, and uh, maybe the watershed uh, district uh, for the uh, Huron River, because we run along the river there. So we have a lot of ideas, and uh, we haven't put them all together yet, but we really want to involve the community and uh, we want to have some good entertainment along the race and uh, go from there and like I said definitely have the entire community involved with this. Well it's always been a great race and a lot of people pick that as the only one they run all year long and the half marathon has been kind of the marquee event until the 10k when Doug brought all these fast masters people along and now it's really getting some national ink and some really fast people running it. It really is. It really. I'm. I'm really excited about it this year. Uh, they'll also expand uh, uh, part of the championship is the new Grand Prix series for 2012, which should bring more master runners in uh, uh, associated with their teams from around the country. Um, we've been discussing this race with at other races with a lot of the master runners, and uh, so far verbally we've had a large commitment of people that are going to come in this June for the event. So I'm very very pleased about that. Well, Doug, what are some of the things that are different about having a national championship? Well, the thing with the national championship is they run for the uh, they run for the medals and for the individual and team championships. But we also offer a large prize package of over uh, ten thousand uh, dollars that includes the team awards, the individual awards, and uh, most of all the age graded money, which brings all of our male and female runners uh, from forty years old all the way up to ninety years old into the mix so that they have a chance to win some of the age graded money. It's always fun to see how that works out because you can get somebody who's behind you actually beating you based on those age graded, age -graded charts, right? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, if they can get over a 90% 90, 90 um, ability, uh, they usually gives them a chance to get into the, into the money. and. Um, I think in the end, the cream of the crop and the better runners usually end up winning the H grade, but it's nice that everyone knows when they line up that they have a chance to get into the prize money. Well, prize money always makes a big difference, and that really helps bring some of the best runners in Michigan and elsewhere, other countries, to the half marathon too, right, Gary? Oh, definitely, and uh, we're often um, pretty good prize money in the open events, uh, especially in the half marathon, $1,000 to the winner. 500 250 for the second and third place so we think that should bring in some pretty good runners to uh, try to win that pot of gold there at the end of the end of the 13 mile run and uh, we're gonna have a running legend come in and be one of our guests for the weekend Bill Rogers a four-time winner of the Boston and New York marathons so he'll be our guest for the weekend and be out to meet and greet people at the expo and during the race so uh, that's one of the big things we're looking forward to also oh that'll be exciting to have him here he's a he's always a crowd favorite and uh, not to shortchange a couple other races you also have a 5k and a kids run oh definitely and uh, the uh, 5k uh, 
usually brings out some of the younger runners and a lot of the beginners who say, uh, I talk to people say, well, uh, I want to come out and do the 5K. In fact, I talked to one of the ladies at the city I had to work with today and said, I'm going to do the 5K. I don't can do that, so I want to come out and do that. And then the kids' race is uh, really good. Uh, we're going to have it at Pioneer High School, and uh, the shorter distance, the smaller kids will run the shorter, just like 100 meters, and then they move up to 400 meters, and uh, the older kids who are probably 14, 15, will run a mile. So, you know, from 100 meters up to a mile depends on how, how old they are. And that always brings out just a ton of kids, right? Oh, for sure. They love doing that. Kids love to do a, a short, fun race. And then the next day they come out and watch their parents and, you know, their aunts and uncles and all of them run the 5K half marathon. So we hope to have some things going on at the finish line. We're talking about a band DJ in the open parking lot there. So we plan on having some very good entertainment. And then it moves right into the uh, taste of Ann Arbor. So when people get done with the race, have a little bit of post-race refreshment with ours, they can go over and enjoy the rest of the day at the uh, taste of Ann Arbor. They're going to work with us. Well, it sounds like a busy and a fun weekend, so we look forward to seeing everybody at the Dexter Ann Arbor Run in early June. Thank you, Gary and Doug. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you.